Hi, I'm Extra Yogurt and welcome back to another speed build. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new, then thanks for checking out my video again. Um, so right now you guys see me panning around South Valley City just to show you guys all the progress we, we've made and like we have come such a long way in like the like I don't know six seven eight months that I've been working on this um so yeah to be fair I did stop and take a long break somewhere in the middle of this and worked on a whole other neighborhood but regardless i just wanted to show you guys the progress kind of remind you guys of all the things that we've built in the last uh many many months so um today we're going to be building just a very simple park as you can see i'm over here struggling trying to decide where to put it um initially i wanted this to be like just a straight up like pet park or animal park but i don't know i guess it, that just didn't really make a whole lot of sense to me when we don't really have like a regular park um so we we have actually built a park for south valley city and that was lake breeze park however that was more of like a campground park if that makes sense um that build is also up on my channel if you guys want to check it out uh but yeah so we did lake breeze park and lake lake breeze cabins over by the lake obviously um and that was kind of what I wanted to consider the park for this neighborhood, but uh, but no, we, we definitely need just a normal park with a playground. Um, I did add some of the like pets elements to it. Like I added pet statues and some like, you know, pick up your pet's poop signs because I thought that was cute. So it's definitely very pet friendly, um, but is not like a completely like animal, designated park um the focal point of the park is is a playground so um but yeah you guys will see that this build is just it's really simple it's nothing extravagant or really like complicated um i i just late last night i just was in the mood to build so i was just building this park um yeah and uh, i did play test it and when i tell you guys like my neighborhood the sims in my neighborhood loved it i swear everybody was here i swear i've never seen that many sims come to a park i know it sounds like i'm trying to sell you the park but maybe it's just because the lot is a lot less crowded um with objects and and stuff like that like like most of my lots usually are so like the game was able to to have more sims come onto the lot i don't know i don't know but i swear everybody was at this park but yeah so as you guys can see the focal point is the playground i added plenty of playground objects so that you know no one's fighting over a slide or anything and then um i made a walkway kind of Kind of rough draft around the around the playground um so you know sims can like say walk their dogs or whatever just you know walk around take a stroll um but yeah so i really wish that we could do curved flooring because that's kind of what i was trying to achieve with um with all this fencing i was doing i was just kind of drawing out the template for the sidewalk to go um but yeah, in the end, I feel like it turned out really, really nice. It's like I said, this is nothing crazy. It's a quick video, something simple. I even slowed down the uh, the speed of the video a little bit uh, slower than I would normally do because I feel like it was pretty, pretty harsh on the eyes if I did like eight speed like I like I normally do. But anyways. So I did decide to do that little like um, half and half situation there. I thought that would be really cute and add some dimension to the park. Um, I did go with the orange and green themed objects, even though I really wanted to use those wooden um, lookout tower things. But I mean, that would have worked too looking back at it, but I just wanted everything to match and, and really go together. But um, but yeah, so I added these three little hills just to, I guess, make it interesting. Um, I was looking at 
different parks and trying to get inspiration from the different parks. And there was this park that I came across that had three, two or three different like tones of grass. And I really liked that idea, so I incorporated that here. Um, I made each hill section like a different shade of grass. Um, I don't know, I, I think it came out nice. I don't know if it looks like a mistake or if it looks intentional, but that's what I was going for. So, um, but yeah, so there's a gazebo, there's two uh, little bathrooms and I mean, for once, finally, a lot that I've built is not gonna like make your game work really, really hard. So, uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, y'all, so as I'm editing this, we are sitting at 991 subscribers, which is so exciting. Thank you guys so much. And in light of that, I just wanted to just shout some of y'all out that I noticed have been supporting me for a long time. And I'm so sorry if I butcher some of y'all's names. I'm also sorry if I missed your name. I just, I literally just like kind of looked through my comments and just noted like who, who commented a really long time ago or who like frequently comments or like you know stuff like that people that I, I tend to interact with so um so yeah so cyber frank 2010 thank you for your support o'corner frederica o wizard q shushek yashak anna chibi and polynovskaya thank you guys so much for your support um and then I also wanted to shout out other fellow Sims content creators who um, who have also been supporting me and they also just make great content as well. So Annie Bats, Kaylee83, Plumbob95, T Addict, West Anime Sims, and Nervo Sims. Thank you guys so much for your support and all of your additions to the Sims community. Um, I always love seeing Sims content and I just always happy when I see more of it. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and link their uh, their YouTube channels in the description just so you guys can check their stuff out as well. Um, yeah sorry if once again y'all sorry if i butch butchered anyone's name um or if i missed your name i just i i tried to do my best um i was like reading from a list that i wrote down of all the names so <laughs> sorry if that was a little a little all over the place but but yeah i really appreciate y'all so yeah and also if i listed off your name and like you aren't even subscribe to me that is that doesn't bother me one bit because at some point you watched my video and that that means a lot to me so so yeah i just i just want to make sure you guys constantly know that i appreciate the support um and interacting with y'all because uh i it y'all i really don't have people irl that i can geek out about um sims with so this this is very like it's very healing for me um and i'm sure you guys a lot of you guys will feel the same way so
Alright, so you guys will notice that this right here is where the um, the like different tones and shades of grass came in and for each hill I just did a little bit uh, like I just went like darker and darker so um, yeah I mean it, it's really small it's so simple and like not that major but I feel like it just made it look really nice and manicured and interesting um, and kind of like accentuated that that separation um, that I that I had going on. So, um, so yeah. I mean, honestly, this is how this is kind of like the standard kind of way that I like to build parks, as far as having one big covered seating area or like gazebo, um, having a little bathroom or two in the corners of the lot, and then like yeah having like I don't usually add a parking lot but having like little chess tables um, I also usually don't have playgrounds but anyway <laughs> um, I feel like the only thing I'm missing here is like a pond but I wanted it to be more of a like neighborhood park and not so much like a wilderness par park if that makes sense um, if you guys notice from the start of the video where I placed the park is right outside of a residential neighborhood, um, right outside of Blue Blue Ave, that little build series that I did. Um, so I felt like this just made a lot of sense. Uh, yeah, so.
all right so i know i talked about in the beginning like how we needed just a regular park and as i was building this like i started just brainstorming all the other things that i did not think about before that the neighborhood needs because i want there to be no shortage of things to do here so um I mean, I'm gonna, I, I plan on doing a bowling alley, a library, um, skating rink, ice skating rink, restaurants, um, what else? Uh, is that, is that, ever, oh yes, a golf course slash like country club. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna have a ball building that. So there's lots more to come for South Valley City, which is why I said we won't be done with this neighborhood for a little while. But like, you know, here and there, I'll like kind of try to deviate from it just to keep the videos interesting. Maybe we can go back into Dusty Lakes and build some more homes at Sims. Um, but yeah, there, there will definitely be a, a new neighborhood in the future. But I'm gonna do my best to try to wrap things up in South Valley City. Um, it's coming together really, really nicely though. And uh, yeah, I just really like the look of it. Um, so here I am just adding a little bit of those like pick up your pets poop signs. I added some animal statues, kind of thought about adding dog houses, but then I was like, eh, that doesn't really make sense to me. Um, but for the most part, I feel like I did leave a lot of just kind of blank terrain space. And I think that that was, the best option for this lot because you know parks that's that's kind of the point is you have like some open space it's not just overcrowded with stuff um i don't actually know if the sims are going to be able to walk up those hills but i did my best to smooth them out as much as i possibly could but regardless i, I think it looks really nice uh to have a, a little bit of that just open blank space i tried not to overcrowd it with chairs and benches hopefully i succeeded i don't really know um yeah this this build just got me really excited for more gameplay to be honest like when i play tested it and seeing all the sims that showed up and all the kids playing on the playground i just thought it was so cute it was so adorable um but yeah
All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me all, sorry. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this short little build, little simple build that I put together. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's not really anything super special, but I think it adds something very necessary to the neighborhood and I promise your Sims will enjoy it. And like I said, um, I kept my promise. I'm playtesting my lots from now on to make sure I place things properly and all the objects should be totally good to go on this lot so thank you guys so much for watching um oh yes of course uh if you guys would like to download this lot please check the description um if you guys want to find me on other uh platforms uh everything's in the description just always 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 check the description for any extra info and like i said i will be linking those fellow sims content creators channels in the description as well see you guys in the next video Bye bye